Today on Finding Closure, we encounter the sliding tile puzzle. I certainly can't solve one of these. Can you? Why not have the computer solve it? How about a brute force approach? That's stupid. How about a graph search approach? Well, that's boring. Why not try something new? Why not try genetic algorithms? Why? To learn about genetic algorithms. Why else? Why not compare genetic algorithms to graph search and learn about graph search in the process? Want even more fun? Why not try learning a new programming language? Why not learn Clojure, a fun dynamically typed functional language? So first things first, in order to implement genetic algorithms, we need to understand what they are. Genetic algorithms are basically evolution for algorithms where solution spaces mutate and cross with each other to generate new solution spaces. For representation, we represent each solution space as a list of floats, where each float represents a move which is interpreted differently based on the current state of the puzzle. For example, if we're given this puzzle state, then the valid moves are only two, are down and left, which are represented by a range of floats between 0 and 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 and 1. So for example, if our float is 0 0.73, we move the 7 to the left. Next we have mutations. Just like in DNA, we have point mutations where we take a random index in our chromosome and we replace it with a new random float, generating a new move list. Now, for crossovers, we take two parent chromosomes and we cross them at random indexes, giving us a child chromosome which takes the first n genes from parent 1 and the last m genes from parent 2, resulting in a chromosome of equal or greater length than its parents. Next, for selection, we take a pair of chromosomes from our population and force them to battle in a contest of fitness, aka whichever returns the closest to the actual solution, and return the victor. Last, we have a phase which combines everything I said before. So we start with a given puzzle state, just like this one, and a given initial population and the number of generations which we want to run. It generates a starting population of chromosomes, and after mutation and crossover, it continues the cycle by passing in the resulting chromosome into the next cycle. This eventually returns the most fit chromosome from the final population. A star search is a type of best first search, a specific tree search technique whereby the nodes with the lowest cost are selected for expansion. Each node is evaluated as a combination of its depth, which is the number of moves required to transform the initial puzzle state into the puzzle state of the current node, and an estimated cost of reaching the goal state as determined by a heuristic function. Let's look at an example. We start with a 2x2 two two sliding tile puzzle and aim to get to this goal state. Our 2x2 two two sliding tile puzzle has two possible child nodes as next puzzle states, and we use our Manhattan distance heuristic to evaluate the fitness of each node and decide that the left node is closer to the goal state. We then expand the left child node, and again select the most cost-efficient child node. And voila, we have found our goal state. We're guaranteed to find a solution with a non-greedy A-star implementation. If we go down a branch and don't find our goal state, or if we go down a branch and end up getting to a node we had previously explored at lower cost, we give up the current branch and go elsewhere, ultimately considering, if necessary, all possible paths. Like demos? Try this one. Here's a puzzle that's been stumping me for a while. Let's open up the command line and see what we can do. Let's launch our handy command line utility. Let's enter our favorite algorithm. I'm going to use ASAR for its lightning speed. Let's enter the dimensions of the puzzle. This one's 3x3. Three three. Let's enter the puzzle as a string of integers. Let's see what happens. Let's try this out. Neat. It is clear from this graph that the A star best for search algorithm is considerably faster than the genetic algorithm at solving n tile puzzles. This is understandable given the randomness with which the genetic algorithm is implemented. Genetic algorithms tend to work well in problems for which an incomplete or imperfect solution is acceptable, and who would want a partial solution to an n tile puzzle? The A star search algorithm is clearly better in this application, yet implementing the genetic algorithm to solve tile puzzles was neat. I hope that this video has helped you find closure.